Hello and welcome to Thought for June the 18th. Our readings are Judges chapter 20, Isaiah chapter 42, and 1 John chapter 5. And our thought is, the victory that has overcome the world. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world, writes John. And then he adds, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. 1 John 5 and verse 4. What is faith? That is a fundamental question and the answer is simple. Or is it? Consider what happened in the first century. Beginning with 12 ordinary men, most of them fishermen. Yes, miracles happened at times, but though these were a spur to faith, think of how many times Jesus said to them, O you of little faith. Uh, For example, Matthew 8 verse 26, chapter 14 verse 31 and chapter 16 verse 8. Only later did they develop the faith that spurred them and so many others to be faithful in the face of all sorts of persecution. This arose because the pagan Greek and Roman world was challenged as to what it really believed. Who really was the God that should be worshipped? The God of atheism is starting to be worshipped today and its dedicated adherents are starting to create more and more problems for genuine Bible believers. Paul, in his letters to those converted from paganism, reminds them how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, and Jesus, who delivers us from the wrath to come. We read in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. These former pagans had reached a conviction as to the real nature of the Creator who sent His Son into the world, a conviction that included the realisation that we are nothing. We are like a cloud floating through the sky, dissipating into nothingness, unless, unless we seek a relationship with God. There is a well-known verse which tells us Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Today, the challenge to our efforts to develop such a faith is the fiction of evolution. The impossible idea that everything by some means created itself. And so we turn from human fiction to the wonder of what happened 2,000 years ago and has challenged human minds ever since. It is our faith in that event which enables us to overcome the world, writes John. It is our faith that inspires us on to victory. John stresses a key point as he ends his first epistle. We know the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know him who is true, and we are in him who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. Verse 20. Real faith inevitably leads us to know God. It results in us having a living, prayerful relationship with him, in the same sense, but far greater than the way men and women should aim to know each other in marriage. Feeding on God's word every day is an essential part in maintaining and developing that relationship. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's word, knowing that word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.